explosions near the finish line of the Boston Marathon. Welcome. This is a, an unusual event for us, uh, but I think it brings home the very close connections between Bermuda and our neighbour to the north in the city of Boston. Uh, our connections, I think, historically go back to the 1620s, and not many places have connections with Boston going back that far. Uh, but the connections today were brought home uh, in the tragic circumstances of the last Boston Marathon. Uh, there were 16 runners from Bermuda taking part, uh, seven for the terrible reasons that we all know did not get their medal on the day. That wasn't one of the more serious aspects of the day, but it remains a loose end. And Dr. Coyle's generosity and imagination uh, means that this is a loose end of that awful day, which um, we can uh, tidy up today. And in doing so, uh, not only remember that day, but celebrate the close connections between our two communities. Since I visited Bermuda over 25 years ago for the first time, <coughs> it has held a special meaning for me for the past seven years. And I've been fortunate to spend a lovely couple of weeks here at the spectacular Great Big Beach and the Rendezvous, Rendezvous Cotch, Cottage. So when I met B Bermuda runners Rosanna McShane and Doug Hui the day after this year's tragic Boston Marathon, I was glad to hear that all the runners from Bermuda were safe, but sorry that Seven had been unable, unable to complete the race. That as a governor of the Boston Athletic Association, I would be honored to bring the medals with me to present. And it is from this chance encounter to His Excellency's gracious invitation that we are all here today to recognize not only the seven runners who were unable to finish the race, but also the Bermuda runners who participated in this year's Boston Marathon. I've been involved with the Boston Athletic Association and the Boston Marathon for the past 40 years. As a governor and former president, the marathon means a great deal to me. The marathon is not only a Boston event, but also a global event with close to 20% 20, 20 international runners participating. So the tragic event of this year race greatly affected us all. But I am so proud of how Boston and the world and the running community responded. And although we can never change the tragic outcomes, the incredible outpouring of support and acts of kindness that have happened since and continue to occur has touched us all. As Lali Desaya, the Ethiopian winner of this year's marathon, recently said, <coughs> sport should never be used as a battleground. It holds the power to unify people, allowing them to the opportunity to share in their common hu humanity and to celebrate the richness of the world's cultural diversity. He stated that he and his team would return to Boston to run again next year to show the world that our commitment to sport, our commitment to our freedom, will be stronger than any act of violence. So next year, the Boston Marathon will be stronger than before. And we will all stand with great pride at once again the international running community and the people of Boston come together for one of the most exciting sporting events in the world. And for those who were unable to complete the race, you have been given a special invitation to participate next year without having to re-qualify. I finished, I finished my marathon sort of about half a mile before the finish line and you know in all the, the sort of turmoil that was happening and explosions and it was it was a pretty traumatic day. And so this is a, a sort of a nice way to, to kind of celebrate on the accomplishments of actually running the Boston Marathon, which I think gets a little bit lost in, in everything that's, that's happened and also just kind of affirms that there were so many other positive things that happened that day. And I'm just looking forward to going back next year. Mostly I was just afraid. I thought my husband and my son might be there at the finish line. So I was really worried. Um, and it was kind of chaotic. Um, 
you know, nobody really knew what was going on. And then once you find out your family's okay, of course, we all were calling each other, making sure that we were okay. So it was just kind of surreal overall. And finally, Governor Ferguson, on behalf of the Boston Athletic Association, I'd like to once more again express our sincere, sincere thanks and present you and Premier Kennedy with commemorative 125 Boston Marathon history.